Hello, good to see you live from Bloomberg's European headquarters in London. I'm Owen Thomas. Also coming up on the programme, Lagarde gets a rival. Well, joining us now is the former British Prime Minister and the Quartet's representative in the Middle East, Tony Blair. Mr Blair, welcome to BBC World News. Owen Thomas, it's a pleasure to have you on breakfast this morning. We've been hearing reports and seeing the smoke after a big explosion struck a Japanese nuclear power plant after yesterday's devastating earthquake. There's two big misses in the region. Both Chinese manufacturing and Australian retail have really unexpectedly contracted. Great story here. Good to see you this morning. Talking about oil prices. Let's take a look at the figures. If you're just joining us, welcome. This is First Look Live from London on Bloomberg. I'm Owen Thomas. So that breaking news, Australia's central bank has just come out with its latest rate decision. It's keeping the rates unchanged at 3.5%. The Aussie dollar is starting to pair its losses. All of the economists surveyed by Bloomberg were expecting this. Were they not, John Dawson, in Hong Kong? You've had a number of meetings in the past few days with Benjamin Netanyahu. You've spoken to the defence minister. Have you had any guarantees from them that the, the blockade will be lifted? John Wraith is a fixed income strategist at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, and is still with us. John, when you get back to your desk in a few minutes' time, what is the key thing that you will be looking for today? France is expected to move one step closer to banning women from covering their face with an Islamic veil. There'll be a vote in the lower house of parliament later today. Under the bill, women wearing the burqa or niqab in public places could be fined around $200. Men who force their wives or daughters to wear the full veil would face stiffer penalties, including up to a year in jail. Very strong storms in uh, parts of Asia. We'll talk about that also when I see you guys again in just a little while. Back to you. OK, Murray, looking rough. Uh, not, not you, Marie, looking rough. The weather looking rough. You look beautiful as always. I'm moving on. I'm really sorry. I shall phone you later. <laughs> <laughs> you do the I next bit. saying that, I thought, geez, what's he gonna, how's he going to dig himself I'm out I'm sorry, I will do it by saying, coming up here on <laughs> CNN Today. Here in Europe, you just heard it, the owner of B&Q beat estimates with profit and its dividend is higher as well. Ian Cheshire is Kingfisher's chief executive officer and joins us now from one of our central London studios. Mr Cheshire, a very good morning to you. Morning. Look, these are pretty impressive results. They beat analyst estimates. It may sound a bit of a perverse question, but as economic slowdown recession actually quite good for your company Owen <laughs> business class lots of business always business class with you yeah and we're talking about <laughs> Europe's debt crisis I'd be out of a job without it hello to you good morning Eurozone finance ministers and central bankers including the Chancellor George Osborne well they're heading to Hungary today for talks that would be nice wouldn't it really look back in 10 years time and think was this the day that European leaders actually ended the European crisis you know what Martin it ain't gonna happen <laughs> follow me on Twitter it's at Owen Thomas TV. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.